about storms in Iowa. Let's check in with Paul Wetzel to find out when we can expect some storms around here. Yeah, that same storm system is moving in our direction, and I'm going to show you where that is coming up uh, with Doppler radar. But it's going to take a, a day or two before uh, we get the concentration of that cold front uh, pushing in our direction. Tonight, it's warm, it's humid, 70 degrees, a high temperature of 82 today. Tomorrow, we're going to heat things up in the mid to upper 80s. Your neighborhood tonight, well, for the most part, warm all across eastern Ohio and uh, western Pennsylvania. Temperatures uh, generally around 70 degrees. It's 71 in the city of Warren tonight. 68 over in Mercer and 70 in Salem, 68 in Wellsville and 67 in Calcutta. Now, Doppler radar has been quiet all night long. In fact, the clouds have pushed out of here and a big part of the area is just plain old clear uh, right now. Out to the west, though, some clouds starting to sneak along I-71 and into northwestern Ohio, and these are going to push on eastward tonight, so uh, we'll see the increase in clouds toward tomorrow morning. The bigger showers and storms, though, here's the storm system I was talking about. This is a big storm that's moving across the central plains tonight, wrapping in cool air behind it, and all of this is pushing in our direction. So as we go into tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, and especially tomorrow night and Thursday, the risk for showers and thunderstorms will increase uh, here at home. Tonight, the chance is very small, but an isolated shower or a thunderstorm could still pop up in this muggy air mass that we have in place here uh, right into 27 First News tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Temperatures will be mild to start the day. We'll have some clouds around filtering the sunshine. It's going to get warm and humid as close as midday. Uh, temperatures already in the middle 80s, but by the time we go into the afternoon, notice these green dots starting to show up. Isolated showers or thunderstorms will be possible, and there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So if one of these storms can get going overhead where you are, uh, expect some heavy rainfall in your location. Still need it out there. Temperatures tomorrow night staying warm. Risk of showers and storms staying with us too. And any of these storms that get going, especially into tomorrow night and Thursday, do have the potential of becoming a little strong as this is a pretty strong storm system moving our way. Uh, the risk of showers and storms through midday Thursday, and then this cold front will clear on out here and that means better weather, lower humidity, lower temperatures and more sunshine to end the week. 65 tonight. Very small chance for that isolated shower or a rumble of thunder. Tomorrow highs in the mid to upper 80s by the afternoon. A better chance of seeing a shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow night and Thursday continued threat of showers and thunderstorms, but the chance increases as we go into the day on Thursday. A Friday and Saturday are looking fantastic. Low humidity Humidity, pleasant temperatures around, and even Saturday, or Sunday, uh, looking nice too. Highs in the mid 80s, and then we start cooling down again. Chance of showers and thunderstorms Monday with another cold front, and we cool down. Highs only in the mid 70s uh, through the middle of next week, and overnight lows getting a little chilly then too. I, I left it at 52, but we may be touching 40s as we go into next week. Some good variety in that forecast. It's a little up and down, a little rain, something we need. <laughs>